Ja, jeg tænker, hvis vi skal sidde til at stå i form til andre dårlige så er det så er det så er det
don't have to order any of the food. Uh, all you have to worry about today is uh, ordering your drinks. So I will go around, give you a menu, and then I will be back and uh, take uh, drinks order. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome on board the Coranda Scenic Railway. Your drivers this morning are Russell and Dave. My name is May, and your onboard attendants are Neil and Emily. For the safe passage of staff and customers, aisles and doorways must be kept clear at all times. Any loose items, including day strollers, bags and backpacks, must be stowed under your seat for the duration of the journey. Due to evacuation procedures, day strollers cannot be used for any reason throughout the journey. We trust you will enjoy your trip with us this morning. Passengers who have just joined us at Freshwater Station, I would like to welcome you on board the historic Coranda Scenic Railway. Our onboard staff are here to help make your trip as enjoyable as possible. If there's any way they can be of assistance, please do not hesitate to ask. For your convenience, you will find toilet facilities located in many of the carriages. Please ask our onboard personnel for directions. Gentlemen, girls and boys, for the benefit of those passengers who have just joined us, may I please have your attention for the following important safety announcement. Please do not place any part of your body outside of the carriage doors or windows. Do not attempt to disembark the Still 
Yeah. 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 We will have travelled through 15 tunnels, over 55 bridges, around 98 curves and through 153 cuttings. We will soon enter a 180 degree turn called Jungara Loop, which is also known as Horseshoe Bend. This curve was built up above the surrounding terrain to allow trains to build speed for the ascent ahead. For photo enthusiasts, as we go into Jungara Loop from the right hand side of the train, you will have a great photo opportunity of the front or rear of the train as we make our way around the loop. For your safety, please do not place any part of your body outside of the carriage doors or windows. During the Second World War, this area was the site of a large staging area for troops about to embark for the Pacific Theatre of War. Also located here was a large military hospital and a malaria research facility. Some brave troops volunteered to be infected with the disease in the hope of finding a cure.
steam engines were operated on this line until 1967. Today, Karanda Scenic Railway is hauled by two 1720 class diesel electric locomotives, each emitting around 1,000 horsepower. Some of the carriages on this train were built over 100 years ago. The larger carriages are from the Sunshine Express train of the 1930s. The successful contractor for this formidable second section was Melbourne engineer John Roll. It must have been a daunting prospect. There are nearly two kilometres of tunnels and over two kilometres of bridges, some built over ravines several hundred metres deep. Give you some praise and I'll put the snacks later. Thank you.
cross over one of the most unusual railway bridges in the world. This bridge is the tightest curve on the Karanda range. It is built on an 80 metre radius and provides a spectacular view of the famous Stony Creek Falls. As we approach the bridge, look to the right for a great photo of the bridge, then quickly look across to the left for another great photo of the waterfall. For your safety, please do not place any part of your body outside of the carriage doors or windows. Would you like another drink, sir, or are you like? Oh, I'll have some more orange. I'll, I'll come back. Can I use the same glass? Yeah. Please. After your carriage crosses the bridge, look back and you may be able to obtain another great photo of the falls. In 1890, then Governor of Queensland, Sir Henry Norman, visited the site and a banquet was held in his honour in the middle of the bridge. John Robb had the men deck the bridge so they wouldn't fall through, put up rails so they wouldn't fall off, and erect a canopy so they wouldn't get wet. The noise of the water rushing over the falls at the time caused all speeches to be cancelled. So there was just one toast to the governor. One could say a perfect combination of interesting company, delightful surroundings, good food, and best of all, no speeches. Over time, the base camp became a bustling settlement. By 1888, it even had its own brewery, turning out over 2,000 gallons of ale a week. Thank you. 
We are now at Red Bluff, one of the steepest sections and the largest cutting along this line. This was the most difficult section for the workers to excavate. Men were suspended down by ropes to dig away the cutting. However, the rock face was unstable, and as the men made progress, the slope would slip and work would be lost. John Robb had his men dig well into the rock face until a solid foundation could be found. This created the distinctive scar that is a landmark today. As we leave Stony Creek Gorge and enter Barren Gorge, you will notice magnificent views towards Cairns and the coast.